Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Today we are going to talk about how we derive logic circuits. Usually we have something which is which is called table of truth. Okay? In the table of truth there is the moment of truth. And now let's come to the moment of truth. It was 1994. The thoughts were short. <laughs> no. Maybe another time, but <sighs> table of truth. Okay, what is table of truth? Usually, in a logic circuit, we said we have uh, a number of inputs, logic inputs. It can either be true or false, and we have an output, or maybe more outputs. Let's keep to one output. Yeah, and this output is derived somehow from the inputs. And the output is showing is also showing true or false. Yeah? And I can note this relation between the inputs and output in table form. We have already done this several times, but now I just wanted to mention that's how it can be seen. Yeah? So let's have a table of truths example with two inputs. Yeah? So we have an x1 and we have an x2. Yeah? And we have one output, my y. And now let's make here this table of truth. And it shall reflect every possible combination. Alright, so the possible combinations are 0, 1, 0, 1, and 0, 0, 1, 1. Now every possible combination of the inputs is derived. Now, and here the output, let's say we have here 1, here 0, 0, 1. Alright? This is now a table of two showing when the output shall be true, 1, in which combination of the inputs. And how, how we get now to uh, the possibility to, to, to derive logic circuits here. Okay? We just noted with the rules of Boolean algebra. Let's only view at the lines, look at the lines, view, look at the lines where the output is true. And look at the inputs. So what must happen that the output here is true? Yeah? It must happen that x1 is not there. Yeah? And x2 is not there. Huh? Both must be zero. Both must be zero. This should happen. Huh? And here, what have we here? I use another, another color. Here we have, it must be x1 and x2. All right. Those two things need to happen. And it's either this or this. Or, huh? there is it already. So I have not x1 and not x2. And now, or, and here this was the orange cluster, x1 and x2. Ta -ta. And this equals y. This is the Boolean algebra of this table of truth. Okay. And now I could draw. I could draw uh, how it is working. Yeah? So I'm I'm drawing now with with. Uh, Symbols. So we have two inputs. We have here this x1. We have here this x2. All right. And now let's make this end first. Here we have one end. So we have one, the blue block. This is one block here. It shall be an end. With one output. 
and the two inputs are inverted. And we have not x1 and not x2. This is this one. All right. We need this one as well. Yeah. So the orange one, we need an end. The inputs are not inverted, so we have x1. <laughs> Too many colors here. We have x1 and we have x2. Yeah. And what do we need then? We need this this end here, uh, this 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 or. Yeah. So in the end, we have here an or. And we are combining those two elements, and here the result is y. This is how we get from the table of truth to a Boolean algebra to the logic circuit. All right. Maybe let's make another example. If we have here another table of truths, also with two inputs, so we have x1 again, we have x2 again, we have y again. Let's note all possible combinations. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And now we shall have 0, 1, 1, 0. So exactly inverted. Okay. Let's again note what shall happen here. So we have not x1, uh, we have x1. And not x2. Here we have not x1 and x2. And now combine these two, so x1 and not x1, x2, or not x1 and x2, and this equals Now let's draw again the, the logic circuit. X1, X2, okay. The blue one is an end. X1 must not be inverted, X2 must be inverted. Yeah. So here is X1. Here is x2. Yeah. The second one is also an end. This time the first one is inverted. x1 is inverted. x2 is not inverted. And then we are combining this with an OR. this y. All right. These are two examples on how how it is working. Okay. Uh, you see, it's rather straightforward. It's rather straightforward. This is how we derive logic circuits from a table of truths uh, that we switch. Why are we switching to to uh, this one, yeah. because then we have the chance to see if maybe we could make life a little bit easier. Right? That's that's the reason.
that we can, uh, for instance, have a look how if we make it, maybe we can simplify this. Yeah? Simplifying something, that's a, a big task. In a later video, we are going to talk about this. Right? A later video, we are going to talk about this when we're talking about, you know, this is a way how to derive logic circuits, but it's not very efficient. Yeah? Talking about very efficient, in the next video, we are going to talk about uh, NAND and NOR technology, this is called. Yeah? So, in next video, we are talking about how we can produce every logic circuits by only using one element, not ANDs and ORs or something. There is really a way on how to produce a full lo fully wo working logic circuits with only one type of element. Which types are possible and how this is working, we're going to, to see in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.